Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today something extremely exciting, probably my personal most awaited GR video so far in the last five years. I've really been looking forward to this. In case you're new here, we pit various things against a US carrier group. A US carrier group being basically the most powerful thing on the planet, an indestructible thing on the planet. What can we get to take it on? or attempt to take it on in our simulator DCS world. All this stuff we've tried with certain restrictions. All this stuff is what we're trying at the moment with no restrictions. All of these ideas come from you guys, the valued viewers. The next one that we've chosen is unrestricted competition idea 13. World War II Axis Battleship Superfleet. Why wouldn't anyone in the world ever want to see this so let's go and see what we've got again in case you're new let's go over this quickly here we have what we consider a relatively realistic modern within the last 20 years or possibly slightly older u.s carrier group it consists of one times super carrier in the middle that is carrying 30 active aircraft mainly hornets and a couple of tomcats for fun Yes, they do actually carry about 90 aircraft, we believe, in real life. Whether they'd all be ready for scramble, I'm not sure. But, we, you know, we have a limit of how much stuff the computer can handle at the end of the day. So 30 Hornets, I think, is enough. A couple of supply ships. We're all moving at cruise speed, about 15, no, 17 knots. Again, you can only go as fast as your slowest vessel in the fleet. Protection-wise, forward, we've got two times. Oliver has a Perry, kind of 1980s, but relatively effective frigates. Side, we've got very modern Aegis equipped four times Arleigh Burke 2A destroyers. And on the rear, we've got the classic uh, cruiser, the Ticonderogas. Forward and aft, we've got submarines. Whoops. Um, we're not really sure where they would actually be. We've put them about uh, 10 miles out the front. We're in a rough box formation of 15 nautical miles by 10 nautical miles. We also have two aircraft up patrolling at the moment that will react to any threats. We have an AWACS up, Hawkeye, patrolling and looking for any threats. If you're wondering why we're kind of relatively squeezed together, it's because we've put the group at what we consider the most vulnerable position it would ever be in, which is traversing the Strait of Hormuz, which has happened at least twice in history. So this is possible. This is a real thing that could happen. A lot of people have been complaining that the tactics of this group is not very realistic, and that's absolutely right. Just to keep things empirical so that it's repeatable, we are letting the AI control these units. We are not going to give them any orders other than to sail roughly that direction. All gunning, all radar use, all tactical movements are going to be done by the AI. We're not going to touch them ourselves. And that brings us to our baddies today. And the baddies are, there's no other word to say it, just amazing. We have a real-life official world war ii axis super battleship fleet not all of these are battleships but you get the idea this fleet has never been assembled in real life and in world war ii fleets like this weren't weren't in fashion anyway this would be a world war one type thing world war ii almost all of these we, we use as merchant hunters and that kind of thing that would go off with a battleship and maybe a battle cruiser or a cruiser with it but for fun, they've come forward in time, 70, 80 years, and they're trying to take on a Nimitz-class nuclear carrier group. We've got battle cruisers. Now, forgive me, I am interested in naval history at this time, World War II, but my knowledge is still very scant, but I'm going to do my best. Well, I believe it's going to be a battle cruiser, which is going to be the Tirpitz. Sharn Horse, which I do actually know quite a lot about, um, the sinking of the Sharn Horse. Battle cruiser for the time, incredibly modern. We've got the Gneisenau. Um, battle cruiser. We've got what I think is a heavy cruiser, the Admiral Hipper. We've got uh, Prince Eugen heavy cruiser again. We've got the Blutcher heavy cruiser. This I think is an armored cruiser. I may have it wrong. The Admiral Shear. Wait so far. Battle cruiser Sharn Horse, forty thousand tons, with nine times eleven inch guns. The Hipper, the Blutcher, the Prince Eugen. 20,000 tons, so these guys here, only half the weight, and 8 times 8 inch guns. Now we move on to the big boys, the battleships. Battleships are good and bad. They're good because they're really heavy and heavily armoured. They're bad because they're slow. So to keep all these guys in order, they can only move as fast as the slowest ship, which I think is the Roma here at 14 knots. So we've got possibly the biggest, best, and most badass battleship in the history of the world. We've got the Japanese Yamato here. It is 72,000 tons, which is around 
getting on towards the same as a supercarrier, just to show you the ridiculousness of how big this thing is, with nine 18-inch guns. Each one of those bullets that they fire is bigger and heavier than the car that I drive, just to give you an idea of, of the size of this thing. Uh, that's that. A sister ship, we have uh, the Musashi here. We've got next, uh, a bit more old, but quite cool, the battleship Roma from the Italians. A lot smaller at 46,000 tons, 9 times 15 inch guns. We've got the Bismarck that I'm sure you're all aware of here. 50,000 tons, 8 times 15 inch guns. This would be considered a fast battleship. So it was a battleship officially, but it would move not as fast, but towards the speeds of battle cruiser, I believe. And then we've got accidentally put in another Bismarck there. So let's just put in a, uh, we've got a cruiser there of the Italian fleet. Okay, I don't know anything about. So one, two, one, two, three, four battleships. One, two, three battle cruisers. Three, I think, heavy cruisers. And two, I think, armoured cruisers or light cruisers. I'm not sure. There. Restrictions. In real life, neither of these fleets would just run into each other head on. If they wanted to attack each other, for instance, these guys here would use naval tactics. They would skid side to side because they want to use their front guns and their aft guns. And I'm sure the US battle fleet wouldn't just, you know, sail into something. However, there comes a point where in a simulator, it's not really designed for the silly things we're doing with it here. You can't really get that to work. If you try to program that in, them to zigzag and do stuff like that, the ships would just start crashing into each other and just end up sinking each other. So the fact is, we're just going to run them straight into each other. It's just the best we can do. It means these guys won't be able to use their aft guns. And it will probably mean that some, even some of these ships here won't be able to use their uh, guns until a little bit later on. But, you know, suck it up. That's just what we're going to have to deal with. It's the best we've got. Any predictions from you? I think the uh, older ships are going to get their asses hit. <laughs> they are. It's very, it's very, uh, it's very hard to find a way in which these older guys are gonna, are gonna, you know, even get in range. Uh, they can shoot over the horizon, but you know, only you know, up to about 15 miles or something to actually straddle a ship. So fine, it's going to be epic, guys. Let's get into the first one. You are flying a Tomcat from the U.S. Fleet RC. That's going to set it, set it up. And the fight's on. So we've started them 70 miles away from the fleet. The rules are. If the hostiles would be detectable by radar or satellite, they're allowed to start 70 miles away. If they are not detectable, like, um, you know, maybe some silkworms hidden or something like that, then they're allowed to start 15 miles away. It's just the rules that we've set, this kind of competition, if you can call it that. So they're sailing towards each other. Um, let's go and have... I mean, there's going to be so many interesting talking points about this as we go. It's going to be so incredible. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything as beautiful as that? Look at it. These ships are made, we believe, by Hawkeye, who is just a genius with DCS. We're trying to get him on the channel to talk. Um, it's not that easy, obviously, but we will keep trying. Look at that battle cruiser. I think that's Sean Horse there. What a menacing vehicle that was. I could just do battleships all day. Just look at them. Look at Yamato. It's just. Look at that. Now, are those small guns going to work and shoot at the F-18s? I don't know. Ah, here's one restriction, guys. Um, the F-18s in real life would use harpoons to take the ships out. We couldn't get that working. We have some harpoon problems in multiplayer at the moment, okay? Uh, so we've had to give them bombs. Now, that said, we are 90% confident that harpoons in real life wouldn't actually hurt these ships anyway. These ships have up to 18-inch toughened steel armour, which... Almost nothing in the world, in the history of the world, would actually get through. Um, even the armour-piercing shells from most of these ships wouldn't get through the armoured belts of these. And if you go and read about the history of the sinking of some of these ships, like the Shan Horse, they're essentially invincible from uh, things like that. So a harpoon, which is not designed to penetrate per se, because modern ships aren't armoured, uh, nothing like this anyway, uh, the harpoons probably would just you know, bounce off and blow up outside and have next to no effect, which is really interesting. So, yeah, so the Hornets can't fire harpoons, but that's negated because we don't think that they would have any effect anyway. Um, they also had, as far as I'm aware, all of these ships had armoured decks as well. Now, I know the supercarrier has armoured decks, but I don't think anything else really out there does. And when I say armoured decks, these things are like 8-inch plus thick armoured decks, some of them. They're just, you know, they're designed to stop armour-piercing 15, 16-inch rounds going through them. That's how ridiculously over-modelled, over-modelled, over-built 
these things were. Um, they're just um, a really incredibly amazing piece of history. Look at that smoke. You can just sit and stare at that all day, couldn't you? Anyway, how are you doing RC at the supercarrier? Guys are taking off. Look, if you say there's less than 30 on there, don't worry. What they do is they come up from below deck. God, it's noisy. They come up from below decks on the... Um, not the escalators, what they call the elevators that you can see there. See, these two airframes have just come up. Uh, it's a really well modelled carrier, this is. I wonder if this has ever been done, even virtually. You know, obviously, I mean, just virtually in history. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get out on there. Not well, until. You'll just uh, have to pay should clear up. Roger. Wait, wait, wait. I might have it. They just cleared it. Okay, bad news already. One of the flights of F 18s, I just realized I've messed up and are probably not going to work. So you're down to 26 F 18s. These guys here, I think I've accidentally asked them to attack this area here. Uh, unfortunately, it's the kind of thing that happens. They may come into play, they may not. I guess we'll just see what happens. I hate it when that stuff like that happens. So it should be four of them probably going to the wrong place. Look at him go! Go on, little hornet! We trust in you. Please go to the right area. It just means you're going to have to do more bombing, RC. Yeah. Okay, that guy looks like he's going to the right area. That guy's going to the wrong area. That guy's going to the right area. A little bit annoying. Bunch more hornets just come up the elevator, look, guys. And there's RC, is that you? Nope. Oh. Generic. Tomcat found its way into the fleet. Look at the guy is doing Wait, what we're working. Be on deck. Well, there's a 14 on there, so and uh, I haven't I, programmed I any AI, so. Of course, we didn't lo preload the 14, so I'm. Are you serious? Stuck. Yeah. Look, all this uh, modeling, all this stuff is modeled. If you've not seen DCS before, which most of you watching probably probably haven't. It's going to put the pullback bar on. Ridiculous. Yeah. That's the pullback bar on. Oh. It's going to do his, uh, put his takeoff trim. Firing up the engines and he's going to go. He's going to blow. All this is all modeled and sim in um, and simulated in multiplayer, which is pretty cool. Coffee toots. Okay, we've got some guys finally going to the right area. Yeah, these guys are going to the right area, look. Yeah, off you go, boys. Each plane is carrying... Um, oh, I've forgotten now. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 or 12. I forgot Mark 82, general purpose bombs, which can be used for penetration in that... Uh, have a delayed fuse. I mean, whether they're going to have any effect on their ships, it'll be really interesting to see how the modelling's done on them. These two... Oh, look at that. I've messed these two up as well. Ah, damn. I've, these two guys here, I've forgot to put bombs on. Then again, these guys were the cap anyway, so they wouldn't have had bombs on any, anyway, so I suppose it's actually realistic. Uh, these guys, four here, unfortunately, are just patrolling the wrong area. But that's life, I'm afraid, guys. Right, closest guys are 25 miles. They're pretty much coming individual. Now, what will be really interesting is, do we have any anti-air simulated from the World War II battleships? Yeah, because it's weird, because these guys, like I said, these guys would, you know, wouldn't go anywhere near them. They would just use standoff uh, anti-ship missiles. But, like we said, we're pretty sure the anti-ship missiles aren't, you know, they're designed to hit the hull. We're pretty sure that, well, yeah, I mean, they could hit the superstructure if they put a dive profile on them, I suppose. Mm, it's tough to know. Certainly if they hit the hull, the armoured part, they almost certainly wouldn't have any effect. Lots more Hornets to go. Lots more Hornets to go.
got a busy deck crew today, I'll see. Yeah. 30 Hornets to get up in like just a few minutes. And they are about to find a whole world of hurt in front of them. Look at that. Something you do not want to be faced against. Oh, stuff's blowing up. I don't know what's blowing up, but something's blowing up. I don't know what's happening here, guys. Oh, flax going up. Right, we've got a flak barrage going up. Everything's modelled here in, in, in terms of ammo. You know, they'll all have set types of ammo, so they won't fire forever. And stuff like that. Oh, look at that flak going up. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Amazing. I'm trying to take those F-18s God down. Damn it. I'd be like, what is... I'm done, Cap. You can do it this one without me. Roger. Okay. Because I can't. I mean, even when I get on the ship, it blows me up because I'm too close to other points. Okay, we'll carry on. Oh, wait. Maybe I got it. I get it. This 18's getting peppered. Where is the anti-aircraft fire coming from? Oh, hello. Who's firing? I can't see who's firing here. There we are. There we are. Oh, those things are firing, look. Looks like a boat force equivalent or something. Pow pow. Hornet's not doing a great deal. And look at that valley view as the, the shells from those 40 mils or whatever they are are going up, arching all the way over and then crashing over there. Isn't that interesting? So the whole shell trajectory is modelled. Unfortunately, these are guys aren't going to do much, but these guys should come in and go straight into action. Oh, look, I'll see Tugoff. Yeah, I got, finally got out. Well done. All right, go and do some bombing. All the Hornets are going like 200 knots. Just down over there. We are just about getting there with the slowest Hornets in the world. 13 miles, well within visual range now of those. Oh my giddy arm, what's happening here? Oh, things are definitely happening. Things are definitely spicing up now. Look at that. Oh, my PC is slowing down big time. Someone's hitting the ships as well. Who is hitting these ships? Running around. Somebody, well, I guess the explosions are happening, but the planes haven't got there yet. Someone shooting closest, them. Yeah, nobody's there. Don't know what's happening, Valley Views. You guys are going to have to figure it out for us, but. Are they shooting each other? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I think it was almost like some of the shells are going straight up and coming back down and hitting themselves because they're bonkers. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to guess about eight air, anti aircraft guns per battleship. Per ship. I mean, you're going to have about 100 guns here shooting soon, maybe more. Or oh, they've just run out of ammo, I'm not sure. A bunch of uh, Hornets that I programmed wrong are just landing at the moment, which is slowing everything down, but there you go. Yeah, it's bad frame rates. Yeah, it's going to get worse, I'll say. It's about to get worse. Yeah. That's why we can't put 90 Hornets in, you know. I can see muzzle flashes. Something exploding. Okay, explosions are happening in these hornets. Oh, they're going defensive. Here we go, it's on, baby. I just saw a bullet come right past my screen, man. Oh, frame rates are going down. Look at the AAA. I don't think it has to do with the Hornets. I'll bet it has to do with those mod ships. Yep. Well, oh, the guns, I think. This is the gun. There's yeah. so many bullets in the air We've right now. We've had a bunch of Hornets in before with no, not a decrease like this. It's got to be the mods. gonna yeah. make it hard 
for Here's me to thing, bomb or anything. The, uh, well, you're on your own because the Hornets took one look at those ships and have run away. They've literally ran into them, turned around and yeah, went, nope, not doing this. The frame rate's so bad right now that I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do anything. Well, so like, do you? For me to have a bad, this bad of frame rate is not, it's, there's something really wrong. I'm seeing a bunch of things falling in the water. I can't believe those hornets have turned away. Well, finally, viewers, I'm afraid the US servicemen in this simulator are a bit chicken esque because they've literally just took one look at them and turned around and run away. I've never seen that happen before. They all, they all went away? Yep, oh, everything, yeah. everything's there. Everything's programmed in. They should attack. They just they yeah. start getting shoot. They're so they're heavy. The AAA was so heavy. Now, stuff is blowing up on the ships, and I still haven't worked out why the ships are blowing up. They are, I get the feeling that they're a bit stupid, and some of their AAA is hitting the ship in front. Something along those Why do lines. I have um, I I I spikes? Ah, uh, not my problem. Right, you're above them now. I'll just Weird. bombing them. Yeah. I hope you've got enough bomb, uh, bombs there to sink the World War II super fleet. Okay, frame rates are increasing. I'm more or less back to normal. Ships are still exploding a bit. There's something wrong with our battleships. Oh, the AAA has not stopped RC. <laughs> and you're getting oh. lots of AAA. I've got nothing around me. I'm very okay. quiet here. Fine. We'll take your word for it. Oh, I see it coming around me. Yep. Oh. That might be, that might miss. Got a miss. It's off the right stern the of a battle end, cruiser. That's stern why. of the... Yeah. Right. Need to go in closer. No, the next bunch of Hornets have bottled it and they're running home as well. I'm running home to Mama. Look at that, I've never seen anything like it. They're just scared of that wall of triple A left. Jesus, there is so... Okay, the frame rates are going again. Ugh, terrible, man. No, another whole squadron is heading home. Look, I'm not making this up, Valley viewers. They have literally run away. I've not injected their bombs. This is amazing. Oz, he's in. Oz, he's in. Yeah, but I can have a hard time controlling it because of the... Frames. All right, let's see if I can put this in a better spot. Look at that. Oh, he took a. <laughs> he took a. He took a round. Yeah. He took a round. Oh, I'm going down. I did drop some bombs. That was fair and square. That was that was a fair and square. Forty yeah. Mike Mike in the wing. Boom! Look at that. Oh, one of the battleships has been hit and is turning! Yeah, What's I just happening? hit, I just dro I dropped some bombs just before I got hit. There's a battleship that's fighting another battleship, it's just blowing up. The sea isn't mined. I don't know why the Roma's blowing up. No, I hit, I dropped bombs on it. Oh, this is the problem right here. All this water p popping up for no reason. That's where I, oh, that's where I crashed, huh? I don't know. A lot of weird stuff's happening. Right. That's some odd things going That's on odd. here. It does look beautiful, though. I don't understand. Still. I think these mods are having an issue with. We're just getting random hits on the battleships. There's no bombs being dropped what by the this AI. This battleship's all messed up. Yes, is this is. the one I hit? I don't know. It's turned around and going home now for some reason. That's a Roma. Which is a shame because it's one of well, my Well, wait. Favorites. I'm seeing one out front that looks like it's all blown up. No, that is desync. It's like all rusty. I don't know why the Rome is turning around, Valley viewers, but there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, right, well, I mean, that's the end of test one. The, oh, hang on. No, here come the harpoons. Here come the harpoons. Basically, the, the aeroplanes had no effect. The They were designed to go in and bomb them, and everything was set up for them to bomb them. There's nothing weird I've done. And they take one look at that AAA, and they just turn around.
So there's some logic in there that's that's, that's allowing them not to go. Ah, oh, one hornet's been... Oh, one hornet's landed. The hell? Weirdest things are happening here. It'd be like... Okay, I'm just landing. I'm putting my chocks on. This is very interesting. So, discount the hornets. Just, uh, you know, they just haven't worked. There's nothing I can do about that. But here come the harpoons, which must mean, interestingly, we're within 40 miles. Not quite, but because they're so big, these ships, we can see them over the horizon for a long way with radar. Um, they're massive. Yeah, I know. I know that had, these had air-to-air -air loadouts because they were the cap. But all the other 26, uh, sorry, all the other 30 had full air-to-air -air loadout. They were marked for CAS and they were just, and they were uh, programmed with the CAS. So they should have attacked anything they could see. And the fact that they're just going home means something weird's happening. Anyway, there's nothing we can do about that now. So here we go, valued viewers, with harpoons. These have got funky great warheads. Guys, can someone get me the uh, warhead size for a harpoon, an AGM-84S, please? I think it's £1,000, but I may be wrong. Maybe much... No, it's about £200, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's small. Uh, is it going to have any effect at all on a battleship? Well, I'm really interested to see. We've got lots of them out. Maybe 20 of them out. 400... 88 pounds, 220 kilos. I mean, that's less explosive than is in one of one of these guys' shells. I think. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of the, you know, the the size difference. Okay, I'm capped. There's nothing I can do against those battleships. I dropped my tanks on them. That's about as much. Probably would actually have some effect. Harpoons are coming in now. We are nine miles now. Are the ships going to shoot the harpoons down? No. I, I can't tell you that they couldn't because they do have radar guided guns not as automated and as clever as these radar guided guns but they do have radar guided guns they could for instance detect they with their radars detect the splashes of their own shot fall and adjust so it, you know for 1940s it's, it's you know, groundbreaking stuff let's see what happens anyway I don't know what's going to happen oh they're getting shot look at that that I did not expect to see this is the most amazing scene we've done so far I mean, this might be the 18-inch shells landing, like 15, 15, 18-inch shells landing. The explosion is so big. The most, really is the most amazing thing I've seen. It's got through. They're not guided enough. They're simply not guided enough. Oh, it's going to hit the superstructure. It's going to hit the superstructure. Oh, this is going to hurt. You're right. One of the battleships is destroyed, I'll see. Oh, I hit the superstructure in the bridge. In midships. That's How are these shooting? It's a dead battleship. It's a dead battle cruiser. Yeah, the one at the front is dead. Yep. I don't know how that happened. Oh, this one got shot down! Because I dropped the bomb on it. It got shot by an um, 18-inch shell from Yamato, in my mind. Look at this. Just look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that before? See if we can spy it with a little light. A small tracer fires coming out. Oh, oh, that's the blucher. The blucher's hit. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious me. There, what's happening there? What's Are these that? really firing? Are they firing? Are these World War II ships firing guns and uh, missiles they coming are. in? They're shooting them down. But they're not shooting that them down with machine realistic. guns. They're shooting them with the main guns, I think. No, they're shooting them down with little tracers. Can't you see them coming out? Yeah, I can't. Oh, Blue just hit again. They're acting very much like... Uh... Roger. Here comes another one. Now, almost all of them are getting through. One's been... Oh, my God, the Blue is on fire! But it's so yeah, inaccurate. Yeah, they're, they're 50 caliber are shooting at him. Blue's just dead. Look at the things. Everything's so inaccurate. Look at in the sky, all those explosions in the sky. That is yeah, it's weird. Just weird stuff going. They're just like they're just like almost like they're firing anywhere, which is kind of what would happen in real life if you know some magic missile. <gasps> no, they're going for the Amato. No, it's Roma. No, it's oh, Roma's been hit right in the bridge. That's a bad hit to take. Oh, oh, and Blue's just sinking. Look at that. 
Look at that. Have you ever seen anything like it? It's sinking. These, they just can't take on these harpoons. They're trying. They're just like, Feuer! Feuer! Harpoon! Achtung! That one's just gone. Look at that harpoon. It's just gone mental. Up it goes. It's going for Roma again, I think. No, it got hit. No, it didn't. Yes, it got hit. Hit by something. I don't know what. Now, they do have frag shells in a lot of these guns that they can use. Or did they? Yes, they did. They did have frag shells, didn't they? They were not all armor piercing. And these frag shells would just splinter and smack the crew to pieces. So I wonder if they're... Oh, there's so many questions this raises. Would a frag... Oh, we've lost the we've lost the second turret of Roma. That is not a good look, Roma. And these ships we're fighting against have got so many harpoons. Hundreds and hundreds of harpoons. Oh, and Sean Horse is hit. Amidships, Sean Horse is hit. This is a slaughter. Sean Horse is hit again. Sean Horse is hit again. Sean Horse started smoking. Now, these harpoons are being fired, have their own independent radar. They will make their own decisions which ship to go for based on, well, whatever logic's programmed into them. Another hit. Let's go and have a look at the tactical plan. Another barrage, another volley of harpoons coming out. They've got some rest, rust, rust bite. They've got some rest bite. Who's alive? Blucher's sunk. Oh, this dude. Oh, he's knackered. Look, the whole, the whole, all both front, front turrets are dead. The whole superstructure forward is dead. He's got some weird glitch thing going on there. Oh, his forecastle's been blown to hell. Look at that. Look at his forecastle. It's all out of shape and banged up. Don't even know who he is now. Oh, and he's got... A, this guy's got a dodge because he's dodging. So they hit each other. Roma's been left... Oh, Roma, no. His main superstructure's dead. His radar directors... Most of his directors will be down. Turrets are down. I'm not even sure he could fire. These, the problem is, these harpoons, they're not hitting the hull. They're being clever and they're going up and down and hitting the superstructure. And they're just wiping out everything on the superstructure. We're about to see another volley come in. And these guys, if we look at them, fucking probably a Tico will carry the most. We look at the VLS nacelles. Look how many harpoons they've got. Well, not all of those are harpoons. In fact, this ship, that's wrong. No, the harpoons are here. They haven't even fired, look. But this ship, I think, the Aegis Destroyer, has VLS harpoons. Am I right? Yes, I think I am. So this one will have harpoons in these in this magazine. So there is a million things. Distance, I don't think we've got anywhere close. No, we haven't got anywhere close. 50 miles. We've only done... But if, now that's the problem with battleships. They're slow. If we had just done battle cruisers, they would have doubled, more than doubled the speed. And um, it would be 25 miles, which is almost gunning range. Um, so you could argue maybe battle cruisers were the way to go, but that's not what we did. And these guys are coming in again, but again, I doubt they'd do anything. Like a Roma, all shot the hell. This guy's actually going to go and drop bombs. He's going in, look. Just to show I haven't made any errors, this is exactly the same coding, if you want to call it that, in the mission editor that I did with the bog hammers. Oh, he's getting hit. He's going for it. Finally got some bubble. And turn around and run away. Look at the air! I've never seen anything like that in this simulator. 
everywhere is exploding AAA. Hundreds of thousands of rounds going up. And it is not stopping. Simply ridiculous. It's still going up. And they've all turned and run. Oh, here come the harpoons. Oh, goodness gracious me. The amount of shells going past this thing. That got hit. That one got hit. That one got hit. Wow, the battleships are standing up for themselves. That one didn't go terminal. It didn't go terminal. There's a problem with these harpoons. They're missing. There's a problem with the harpoons. They're not hitting. It's either a problem with the harpoons or a hard problem with the mods. Can't, can't. Shame, but the last ones were hitting. This is going to go right down to the wire, guys. 50 miles. But then again, like I said, there's so many harpoons to be fired from that fleet. Oh god, something's hit the Roma. The Roma is now on fire. Poor aroma. He's getting picked on unfairly. He's a dead battleship. ugly. That is so ugly. Oh, she's sinking. She's sinking. Oh, now the horrible thing is that is that is only 2,000 enlisted men gone down with that. Gone down with that ship. Wow, look at it sink. That's a sad sight. No one likes to see the Roma in trouble. Oh, oh and they're still getting pummeled by harpoons. This isn't fair at this point. Wow. Oh, and they're still coming in. Oh no, they're going for the sh no, they're going for the Bismarck. No, the Sean horse. The Sean horse is already shot to hell. Oh, director towers are dead. The bridge is dead. Oh, we got shot down. How about that? That's it for the latest barrage. Tell me there's more harpoons than that. Tell me there's more harpoons than that. This guy has not fired his harpoons. This guy has... Not fired his harpoons. Sit rep. Blucher's sunk. Roma sunk. Shan horse hasn't really got anything left to fight with. I mean, look at that. Destroyed, 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 destroyed. 
it's not really a fighting vis vessel anymore. Um, the uh, his sister ship, who I've forgotten who it is, Turpit, is fine. Um, oh, I can't remember that one either. It's fine. That one is all blown to hell. Uh, we, in fact, we've had yeah, we've had that the third of these heavy cruisers uh, destroyed. This guy is all blown to hell. Though his big towers, his director towers, his bridge, everything's there. So he may be operational. I and mean, these can. You've got many redundancies in these old battleships, as I'm sure you do on modern ships. Oh, look, the tower's falling down. There was, used to be a tower, maybe not. Annoyingly, yeah. a lot of the big ships have been destroyed. Yamato is fine. Look at his torpedo blister, it's massive. Yeah. It's been hit, but he's fine. I mean, there's big 18 inch punches. Uh, his sister ship, Sash Musashi, is fine. Like I said, be sending their scout planes out in real life to find out where the Americans were. Uh, we've got a ship here that's fine, but it's just a small cruiser of sorts, so I think it's going to be scout very... Scout planes won't make it very far. No, probably not. SM2s. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one is smegged. I don't know who this is. I've lost track of who these are. Some sort of heavy cruiser. I don't know. I mean, all those guns are destroyed. The whole superstructure is destroyed. Command and control. I don't think that's going to be... So you got about 50% operation. Bismarck's gone. Where did Bismarck go? No, Bismarck's here. Or oh, this is Bismarck. Up. This is Bismarck. I thought this was a small one. This is Bismarck. Bismarck looks so weird compared to its contemporaries. A lot of sunk, yeah. Yeah, I think we're one, two... Three are sunk. Three are unusable. Leaving about... Six usable, six to seven usables. Oh, and here come the here come the other harpoons. I'm afraid this will probably wipe it out. I, I thought they'd be wiped out within ten minutes by the plane. Sometimes that doesn't happen, you know. So roll with it, see what happens. Those are the main guns for it. Horse. Oh, got hit. <clears throat> wow. That never gets old.
Boom. Pipes keep coming. Took out midships, it just destroyed it. Oh. These harpoons are absolutely shredding them. Yeah. I'm a bit sorry for that little cruiser there. Bridges out, are oh, the bridges out? There's no commander control now. Oh, and they're still coming. It's almost cruel. <clears throat> oof. Oof. Whole new volley coming. Got one. Got one. Whole new volley coming out. Let's check on there. This Tico at the back has nothing left. This Tico at the back has nothing left. Now, I think this might be the last five harpoons coming in. However, these ships are so battered and bruised now. And they've still got 40 miles to go, you know, it's ridiculous. Channel horse is a light. They just keep coming. That's it, she's, she's sinking. Another battlecruiser down on fire, sinking. However, 
if my calculations serve correct, which they usually aren't, that is all the harpoons the fleet carries. Remember, most of the harpoons the fleet has are not in the ships. They're actually on the aeroplanes, but, you know, like I said, that we couldn't get them working on the aeroplanes. So, that's a lot of hornets. They're all going down the ramp. They're all going down the elevator and going back home. They're all coming to land. Uh, so, as far as we have the ability, that is as many harpoons as the Americans can fire. So through really weird circumstances, I think we're into a gunfight. I think at 35 miles and, well, I'm not sure it's simulated how, you know, how far they can fire. I, I mean, it's, there's so many dynamics at this point because how many of these ships have operational radar still? I don't know. But how many ships are still alive? Oh, there's Sean Horse. Sunk like she was in 1940. Anyone? 43? North of Scandinavia? God, I've forgotten. And she goes. A big signal light. Look at the radar. Look at the antenna. Big old radar. It's funny how when the planes land, the elevators take them down to the hangar, but when they're taken off, they just appear. Yes, they do. On the deck yeah. instead of the elevators bringing them up. No, the the tool uh, that was the turpits. The um, the Shan horse was destroyed by boat. I mean, what they found was they just couldn't kill it. It was basically invulnerable. Um, they got they got um, uh, one of our capital ships, Prince of Wales? Question mark. Yep, 1943. I think it was Prince of Wales. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, it wasn't. It was no, it was King King George V, I think. Um, with had huge 15 or 16 inch guns and it just sat there pounding at point blank pound 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 to the whole stupid structure route but they couldn't sink it because the armoured belt on the Sean horse was just too thick and well made and in the end they had to just ram a load of torpedoes underneath the armoured belt point blank with a bunch of destroyers and she finally sank um, so incredible piece of history 35 miles right let's see what's operational Sh oh uh, it's, sorry I've been saying Sean horse it's the turpits I keep getting them mixed up. It's a sister ship, basically pretty much identical. So the Sean Horse is alive. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better. So it's got a bit of a place in my heart. Uh, Angie appears to be operational radar. Command and control. Everything appears to be operational. Then we've got the Gneis Now, uh, which is a battle cruiser, I think. And that appears to be fully operational. So we've still got some. We've got two. Those are two battle cruisers. The end of the day with 11 12 13 inch guns i can't remember but you know they pack a punch still butchers going on to the smaller boats oh dear actually it's not that bad amidships amidships she's lost her main mast or secondary mast oh this amidships blown up however mm, the, the forward superstructure and radar look intact this whole area is destroyed completely but the gun turrets look okay. So she's probably 50% fighting ability, I guess. We've got here um, a relative smaller cruiser and an armoured cruiser, heavy cruiser. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't remember my classifications. 8-inch guns, I would imagine. And she looks untouched. Look at the difference in the front shape of one of these older cruisers to the front shape of a battle cruiser of a more, more modern design. Isn't that interesting? Let's go on to the big boys. We've got uh, Yamato. Please be untouched. Yes, Yamato. She's been hit, but she has got thick armour. There's 72,000 tonnes of battleship here, valued viewers. And even if she doesn't it cross the T, she's still got so much firepower on those front doodars. I think it's all a bit about accuracy now. And we've got... Uh, Musashi, the sister ship. Untouched. They've left the big ships alone. That was unfortunate, those harpoon seeker heads. But Bismarck, which is always a funny looking ship to me, but untouched. Fast battleship. So we've still got some firepower left here, valued viewers. It's not all over. Oh, whoa, this one's destroyed. This is. Uh, what's that, guys? Anyone know what that is? That looks like a heavy cruiser to me. Non-capital heavy cruiser. Probably 8-inch guns. And the whole front's been blown off. 
essentially that's not going to be an operational ship. Roger, I've just been told the Gneiss now and, and uh, oh, what was the other one? Are Gneiss now a Tirpitz? Were they both sister ships of Shanhorse? Or Shanhorse class? Welcome back, valued viewers. We've essentially fast-forwarded it or just left it running. It's now 9.41 in the morning. I think this has been running for an hour and 41 minutes now. And we can't fast-forward because it's multiplayer. So it's just a big, long battle. And I see the first splashes coming out. We are now... Everything's the same as we left it. Um, we are now 13 miles, so we're in gunnery range. Uh, there are submarines on the blue side, by the way, valued viewers. However, I don't think they'll fire. Without human control, I don't think the submarines work in DCS. I stand to be corrected, but... We'll see that. Let's see what we've got from the Scharnhorst here. Now, the way DCS works, if I unpause, is we can see those because the curvature of the Earth is not modelled visually in DCS, just to make the you know all the rendering and stuff simpler. It just makes it a lot simpler. But it is programmed in into the way the guns work, into the way the radars work. So you have to take it for you have to use your imagination that those are actually over the curvature, and we can't even probably see the masts. At 13 miles, you can do some calculations to figure out, you know, when you could see the tops of the masts. Um, but what we're probably seeing here is the radars detecting the vessels here at about 15 miles. I think we are at the moment, 15 nautical, uh, 16, 17 miles, and uh, we're firing radar guided. Now, notice how inaccurate everything is at the moment, um, and also notice that the Americans are firing, but we're not here. So, what is it about these American ships? That allows them to fire so much further. Um, I'm not sure that's actually accurate in real life, you know. In fact, I'm not even sure what's firing. Because all well, the books I've read saying that it says that the World War II vessels would easily fire over the horizon uh, due to radar guidance. It's these guys... I mean, these guns are such small fire. These are 130mm guns on, I think, all of these American guys. Which is 5-inch. Uh, which is smaller than all of these main guns here. However... A, they're almost certainly going to be more accurate. B, they fire so much faster. So I'm not actually sure that one of these little modern guns, which are completely automated essentially, even the loading of the bullets, shells going into the guns, they go bang, 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 bang. And you might be able to put more lead in the air per second or per minute from a modern gun like this. I really don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen here. Honest, it's really is anyone's game at this point. Okay, something's blowing up. Yep. It's not the German fleet, not yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Yamato's guns are in the air. Oh, this is it. This is it. The Yamato is lining up for a shot. Look at the, look at the elevation. She's got a big 45 degree elevation to lob those shells over the horizon. Have you ever seen anything as cool as that? Six 18 inch guns lining up a supercarrier. This is just ridiculous right now. Look at that. One place in the world where you didn't want to be. Especially when these guns fired in real life, they damaged, they smashed up their own decks. Afterward, after fights, the crews would have to go and repair the decks because the blast damage from these guns would, would just tear up their own decks and rip things off. It was amazing to see what happened. The uh, viewers are saying maximum 26 miles for these guns. Um, effective 16, we're going to convert that into nautical miles. So it's about 14 nautical miles. Uh, for these guns in real life we think and we are currently at 14 nautical miles 13 and a half so we think think oh the americans are getting splashes near now they're going to work differently the americans are going to go for volley fire bang 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 like that and just rely completely on radar and automatic radar correction these guys are going to do straddle shots so that means they're going to fire vo uh, single volleys like six shells up at once watch time and watch the shell fall use the radar up here to measure the shell fall in relation to the target and try and straddle the ships in a way they don't even try and hit the enemy ships they try and put uh, volley straddles on them it's completely opposite to what the americans are going to do with modern you know or to oh we've got something going on there something blew up we're taking hits now we're now taking hits from the americans uh on a battle cruiser at the front so it's getting real now these are big ships, easy to hit. The Americans are small ships apart from the supercarrier. Another hit amidships on that uh, battle cruiser. Or are we firing? Maybe we're firing. Either way, the big guns. Oh no, that is getting hit. It's getting hit. I can feel the screen shaking. Now Yamato has put his guns down. That's worrying me a lot. 
Yamato was ready to fire and has changed his mind. Oh, hello, Sean. Uh, not Sean Horse. Who is it at the front here? Ganaiz now. His guns up. Ganaiz now. His guns up. However, uh, I think there's 11. Oh no, we're firing. Look. Uh, why these are firing? These aren't designed to fire at this range at all. It's probably the ship's not working properly. I'd guess. American fire is completely inaccurate at the moment. Remember, these ships can't actually see each other over the horizon. This is all radar work. I don't know why the big guns aren't firing. Now look at that. One turret is aimed for one vessel and the other turret is aimed for the other vessel. Is that realistic? Honestly, no idea. I've never heard of that happening, but... Could be wrong. Look at that monster. Look at that. You would not want to be there. It's just such a shame that the age of the battleship was over. By the time we've had a hit... Oh, American Salvo comes in. Yeah. Now the fact is, they're firing. Oh! Okay, uh, Sean Horse, I think it is, but his, his A turret up. This one's got A and B turret up. For some reason, only the six inch guns are firing. I don't know why that is. Well, they're such small. There! A, a main gun volley just fired! 11 inch guns, I think they are. 12 inch guns, I forget now, in the heat of the moment. Right, now it's really kicking off. Now things are getting juicy. Who are we firing at? Dunno. Oh my goodness gracious me, we've got an Ovalot Hazard Perry here who's taking an almighty of a beating. Although it doesn't actually look like it's been hit again. They're looking for straddles. That's a... That, you see, that was three of those big 11 inches landing. It was aiming to straddle it. We've got a hit on the Oliver Hazard Perry amidships. They're probably a 6 incher, but if one of those 11 inches lands in this ship, it'll tear its back. And we're really pacing this OHP now. Oh, there's a high caliber shell just comes in. Another straddle. Oh, now it's kicking off. The Germans are really going for it now. I can't even see anything now. What are they firing? What are they firing? I think we've got the main ordnance firing. Look at these little six inches. Tow, tow, tow. And then the main ordnance takes a long time to load. These are hand loaded. These, um, you know, you've got to put the round in, which has to be elevated up. You've got to put the cordite charges in. You know, I think it's probably minutes between shots. Oh, that didn't work. An explosion inside the turret is never a good thing. How about the big baby at the back? The Yamato is aiming up here. Main turret's aiming up, and I think she's firing. Now, you do not want to get... There, that's Yamato firing. It's 18-inch. God knows why the sound doesn't work. We'll get that over to Hawkeye. But that is official 18-inch shells going out. I think they go. Yes, I see them going. Absolutely amazing. Oh, we've got to have a look at that whole Aloe as a parry. He's going to be absolutely chewed to pieces. Once we start hitting... Oh, they're straddling almost every time now, look. Again, no real hit. Oh, wow, look at the inaccuracy of the World War II vessels. That's half a mile out. Maybe more. Again, no actual hits to hit a vessel. Uh, this is an equivalent of a, you know, World War II... A frigate slash destroyer to hit a destroyer from 16 miles away is a very hard thing to do. They still probably can't even see each other. Oh, Yamato fired its main ordnance. Musashi's firing. All the battle cruisers are firing their main ordnance. Still no actual hits. And I wouldn't say that that's unrealistic from what I've read, you know, to hit a guy out here. Oh, we got a hit, direct hit there. Probably a six incher again. Let's have a look at the spread of shot. Look at the spread of shot. Have you ever seen something so inaccurate? They really are inaccurate compared to the Americans. That said, the Americans are... I don't know what's the matter with them today, but they're not firing very well at all. I've seen... I don't think I've seen a single German ship hit. I don't know why that is. Oh, we've got major damage. Oh, a big chunk is missing. The graphics are buggered up for some reason, look, but... Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Like that. Oh, his bridge is gone. A midship's gone. Probably that's a dead vessel now. When you go in, it disappears for some reason, but you need to get that on the bug list, really. It doesn't take many 18-inch shells to sink a modern frigate, I'm afraid. I'm actually wondering if the Americans have even got the shell range to reach 
the Germans at the moment, I really don't know. You can see one's exploding relatively nearby. Look at that, that is not what you want to see coming towards you. And in World War One, that wouldn't be far off a realistic sight. Probably be coal burners, so the so rather than oil burners, the, the sky would just be black all the way up to there. Incredibly inefficient. I think this guy's toast, you know. No, he's still going. He's sailing. He's sailing on. He's got nothing left. He's sailing on, valued viewers. Look at the damage charts. How do I turn that on? It is wait uh, there. Okay, this guy's starting to get pasting as well. This OHP. Oh, he's dead as well. Look. He's taken an 18 shell and whatever. Yeah, he's just blown up, look. The simple fact is the Germans are just annihilate. Oh, no! Oh, no. Scratch that. I completely forgot that they had health bars before. These guys must have been hit before, I imagine, uh, with the uh, cruise missiles. Right, where are we? Oh, Yamato just pounding gun after gun after gun. Those poor little frigates out there. Gun graphics aren't quite right. Now here's an interesting example. Look at this. Uh, Shan Horse has got one turret firing on one target and one fire target firing on one turret firing on another target. Isn't that interesting? Bang, bang, bang. Washington has 11, 12 inch shells out. Oh, oh, we're getting hit. Now the Americans have found their targets. The Americans have found their range. Look, well, I imagine they've just got in range for the first time. Smaller shells almost certainly uh, have a lot less range on the American side. And you're going to find these Americans are going to be a lot more accurate once they've found their range. And we're definitely going to see boom boom. Not looking that accurate. I guess we're at the very maximum range of the Americans, 130 mils. And however accurate the aiming system is, the, you know, the shells, the ballistics, can only ever be so accurate with a big gun like this. You know, it's not a, not a sniper rifle. Lots of shell fire going on now. And damage starting to be uncurred. And still no... These guys are still slogging on, look. Again, just not much accuracy on the German side. Oh, we've got a direct hit there, look. I get the feeling it's only the small shells that are, that are actually impacting. Oh, so inaccurate the fire is. Still only firing at these two front guys. Azimuth's perfect. Nearly, nearly perfect. But... Oh, we've got another hit there, look. Not a lot left of that ship. Oh, we've got hits on... Whoops, can't keep the screen still. You see those shells dropping down. Yeah, I, I don't know how these guys haven't sunk yet, to be honest. Amazing. Now here's the thing, the range is really closed up. Oh, we're seven miles, where we are within these first ships, they can actually see it, physically see each other now. Pretty much, seven miles. Where is it? Where, whoops, where is it? Now you got this turret firing over here. You got the main gun firing God knows where. The main gun isn't, yes, the main gun is firing. I don't know about what. Oh, look out there. Oh, there's some destroyers sneaking around the side, look. That OHP, I think, is dead now, even though they're still firing at it. That OHP... Oh, uh, I can't hold the camera skill, it's so shaky. Oh, I reckon he is doomed as well. Oh, they're engaging the destroyer. They're engaging the destroyer and the destroyer's engaging back. OHPs are dead. Onto destroyers. I know it says cruiser, but this is actually a destroyer, as we know. Oh, he's firing. Here he goes. 
Here's the big smash. Now look at the rate of fire. It's a smaller shell, but this is what? I don't know, a hundred times quicker rate of fire? I don't know, a lot. Whatever it is. And more accurate. I see battleships taking hits. Look how this destroyer is flanking around the side. Okay, some big, big, big 18-inch shells coming in. Look at the size of the splash. I see Yamato taking hits, I think. Ooh! You see, you see how it non-regular the German fire is compared to this. Oh, we just took a... I think we took a hit there. More battleships are turning their turrets on this destroyer. Things are definitely occurring. More damage happening over here. Yamato's taking quite a, quite a beating. Yamato's disengaged. Oh, no, he hasn't. It's the wrong way around. Boom, boom, boom. Who are we firing at now? We're still firing at the OHP, I think. Look how far that destroyer's got around the side. And he's not taking hits. He's a long way away. He's probably over the horizon again with a backdrop of that mountain. It's not going to be easy to find him. Boom. These guys watching and measuring their own shot fall. They're now straddling. Look at that rate of fire. Look at those 130s. Dang, 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 dang. On that cruiser there. Who's this guy? Oh, I think the carrier's, the carrier's being shot. I think the carrier's being shot at. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a... It's a... It's another destroyer that's being shot at. That destroyer's on fire. That's an Aegis destroyer that's down. Or is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. None of the destroyers have been hit. That's no HP. The Americans are giving it back. Look. Boom. Can't see a dang thing. This guy's getting straddled regularly, look. With some pretty inaccurate fire, but... Oh! Look at that! He just blew a hell hole right through the midship deck there. You can't stop. You cannot stop that type of shell. Wow! Wowee! Where's the gun on this thing? Oh, it's at the front. He's not firing! He's not firing! Oh, the bridge! The bridge is hit. Everyone's dead from splinters and... And frag. We've now got regular, regular straddles on this ship. And it is taking an ow oh, on the four on the forefront. It's taking the gun out. And the bridge. Look at the little guys in there. They, I'm afraid, will not be going home today. Oh, he's on fire. I mean, there's only so... How many Yamato shots can a modern destroyer take? No, well-designed ships, but, you know. Oh, the prop stopped. I'm afraid to say she's going down, Valley viewers. We're going to... The Germans don't know that, and they're not taking any chances, so they're going to straddle her. Keep straddling her until she disappears completely. Oh, God. Let's see where we're doing. Ah, now this guy's untouched, and he's sneaking right around the side. And yeah, I think he's doing damage. Then again, he is 10 nauticals, so he's still over the horizon. Now, I'm slightly worried because the next in line is the supercarrier. Is he still moving? Yes, he is. That's slightly worrying for him. Huh? What's this guy up to? He's not damaged, so I think he's reloading. Uh, it does take them a while to reload. Uh, in real life, it takes... I can't remember anymore. Oh, hang on. No, he's stopped. Why has he stopped? For some reason, he stopped. And he's not programmed to do that. But he's not been here. So I don't know, I don't know what's happened to him, I'm afraid. He stopped as well. They've just stopped going towards the fleet. Oh no! No, the supercarrier! It's fair game! It's fair game! And it's got a tough deck, it's got an armoured deck, I think a supercarrier has, but you know, not against Yamato's 18 inch armour pierce piercing shells, it doesn't. Now, no one likes to see this, but I'm afraid you're going to have to sit and watch because they've done this fair and square. Boom! Yamato. Look, there's the mast of a destroyer. Wherever it was, there's a mast of a destroyer going down, look. G 
Jesus H. Crossed. What a way this turned out. We are we're past the two hour mark. We're 10.01 local time. So this has been a big battle. Dang, dang, dang. Pretty much the whole German fleet is now going to open up on this supercarrier and this cruiser here and destroy it. Like I said, I don't know why it stopped. It's just stopped on its own accord. Uh, the rest of the fleet's going ahead. Oh no, look, an 18 inch shell just went right through, right through the stern deck. Midship's deck is ruined. All those guys are wiped out by splinters. Look at those behemoths. Absolutely pacing her. Sailors aren't going down. They're going to stay on deck and launch hornets, which then going to run away. If anyone can find out why the hornets ran away, that would be really useful, by the way. Some American ship, maybe the Ticos, are starting to fire back. Ticos. Ah, there's Yamato. Look at her beam. Look at her beam. It's so big compared to the others. Oh, she's taking hit after hit. We're getting big, accurate main gun fire on this carrier now. And there's only been so much she can take, I'm afraid. Americans are still firing back. That cruiser's getting hit. And someone's firing on the Scharnhorst. Shame the supercarrier hasn't got a gun to fire back. Stand up for herself. Look at that. Imagine seeing that oil smoke. Oh, okay. Fighting up back against the Germans now. Multiple cruisers under attack, including that battle cruiser. Oh, another hit. And another hit. And another hit. It's such an. Oh, no! She's on fire! 5,000 souls on that ship. She's really just a. Floating city. The Axis guys are just getting warmed up. It can just take so much of a beating. Remember, one of those harpoons will pretty much take out a modern frigate, but it took like 10 harpoons to take out one of these battleships from what we've been seeing. So much tougher. She's sailing on. She's not stopping. She's going to fight to the bitter end, I think. Oh, someone's having... No, that's the Sharnos. Is Sharnos on fire? Oh, she's stopping. She's stopping. And she is not looking in good shape, I'm afraid, Valley. Oh no, look at this. The bow, bow hull is here. Oh, oh, look at all those hits. Big hit after big hit. Oh, I can hear the bullets. I can hear the bullets go over like this. Okay, we've got. I think that might be a. No, that's a just. That's an Aegis destroyer, I think. Yes, it is. Firing, giving it back. Saving his mother. I think that carrier's going to go down, guys. Is he going to go down? No, the waterline's holding. The waterline is holding. She's a tough ship. Maybe we just haven't done enough kind of hull damage to actually sink it. But that's not going to be launching anymore. Oh, no, it's going down. Oh, it's going down. Uh, if I were you guys, I would uh, do something. No, oh, he had a scratch of his leg.
What's the what's the trumpet song we're meant to play if a, when a when a ship goes down? Well, the water is quite deep here as well. Taps. We're going to play taps, everyone. Oh look, a, a 3D radar got hit. See you boys. That's uh, is the carrier down. That's the end of the battle really, but I'm not going to lie, I do want to see the last ships destroyed. R.I.P. Nimitz class. What's going on now? Oh no. Oh no, this destroyer. That's the problem. Now the supercarrier's gone. You've got, I don't know, 40 large caliber cannons now firing at this guy. Midships is gone. Look at that. Look at the fire. Just look at that. The ferocity of the fire on it now. 10 miles. Still over the horizon. Oh, that ship will be blown in half in real life. She's standing strong, she's not going down. She's the Michael Murphy. Hold 112. Hold 112. She is staying up, sir. Although she stopped moving a long time ago. I think she took some kind of. Oof, ouch. I think she took. So oh my goodness! Someone's retaliating! And Big Star, what's happening over there? Oh, she's sinking, she's sinking. But someone is firing back. The Sharn Horse. Is too damaged to fire, I think, and so is Bismarck, who's taking absolute beat. No, she's still firing. Wow, what's this? This is a last-minute fight back from the Americans. Look at that. Thump. There, hits. On my heavy cruiser. Hits on the Scharnhorst. Bismarck is absolutely pounding away. It's 15-inch boo-boos. Uh, this must be the Ticos coming into play. I can see them over there, look. Just go and have a look. You don't mess with my super carrier, I get you. Yes, it is. Douche, 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 douche. Absolutely pasting that fleet. Reloading. Oh! Straddled. Hit. I got his hit. Big chunks of him falling off. I'm not sure Yamato's firing. I get the feeling Yamato might be out of ammo. They're still sailing. I don't think they can fire back when they're red. I reckon they're going to take the Shan Horse down. Yeah, this guy isn't firing. Don't know why. I get the feeling he is out of ammo. That's a problem for the Axes, because he was doing the most hitting, or the most damaging, should I say. And Sharnhorse can't fire anymore. Bismarck, I think, is firing. It's firing six inches, at least. Main ordnance, I'm not sure. No, the Axes are finally running out of bullets. Very inaccurate fire coming down here. I'm not convinced that these guys aren't out of ammo as well. Tycho taking some shots. Harpoon launchers have been blasted off the back there. 
Oh, a couple of heavy. Oh, midship, big hit. Someone's blowing up over there as well. No. Just ill directed fire. Not sure who that is over there. Someone's coming in. I wonder if this has ever happened in real life where stuff started running out of ammo. Big ships. I'm not sure what's still firing. Main ordnance on that heavy cruiser is still firing, whoever he is. Who else is still firing? Oh, he's taking a big hit. He's not going to do any firing. Sean Horse is dead, basically. Turpits. Oh, yeah, I think that's Turpits. No, his guns have gone back to neutral, I think. No, he's still firing main ordnance. He's still firing. Right, we've still got a battle cruiser firing. Someone shooting at him over there, look. Not very accurately. I think that's a Tycho getting bombarded. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, it doesn't look like any fire's really coming back now. Or moderate, useless fire. Destroyer has been absolutely riddled. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was a big shot, that was an 11 incher. But a fork in her. That ship is not going anywhere. It's a dead destroyer. Oh. Wow, that was a lot of damage. So many big hits. Tough vehicle, though. I'm amazed how much... I mean, it's still going, look. Really, I'm amazed how much damage these things have soaked up. It's still alive, look. Oh, he says. I'm amazed at how inefficient the Axis fleet can actually be. Well, I don't suppose there's many guns firing now. Few six inches firing. Six inches of firing on the Bismarck. The main ordnance isn't firing. One battle cruiser is still firing a main ordnance, I think. Oh, look at that. That is a sad sight. By destroyer.
someone's still firing at the Germans. I don't know who it is. Look at that silhouette. Still blowing stuff up. And the reason that guy's getting hit so much is because he's gone around the side now. These guys open up with their rear guns, which have ammo. Look at that. Look at the rear ordnance is opening up. So he's just opened up a fresh Axis fleet, basically. And he does not want that. Yeah, look. Italian cruisers can even fire with their rear turrets. Uh, you got a battle cruiser there. No, you got the... I don't know who that is, actually. The Bismarck's firing. Full rear... Uh, Z and was it Z and Y turrets? X and Y? I've forgotten. They're firing. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, the oh, the, even the Yamato, the Yamato class are firing. 18-inch shells going up now. Oh wow, we're getting hit. Oh look at that. Oh, the Shan horse is on fire. Who's doing that? The Shan horse has just been sunk. Where did that come from? Who's... Just when you think they're finished, it all kicks off again. Got a merchant ship there getting shot. Someone's burning over there. Wow, look at that! These two battle cruisers just got an absolute pasting. One, well, now we've got to find out who's doing that, because someone is getting mullered. His rear gun's opened up! I didn't know he had a rear gun! Look at that! We've got line of sight on those battle cruisers. Up go those 130 mil rounds. Things are hotting up again. Wowza. I think he's just sunk that battle cruiser. Look at that. Just shows these these old cruisers can pack a punch. This merchant ship doesn't have much of a chance, I'm afraid. It's the handy wind. Yes it is the handy wind. There's not really much uh, German front firing turrets left, which is why not much is happening, apart from from the side. Americans are putting up a good fight. Yep, that's gone. Shan Horse is gone. See you later, guys. That's, what, one 1,200 men, something like that. Look at that. Someone's firing. Oh, yep, yeah, look. Someone's firing at that cruiser. Oh, dearie me. Handy wind, not looking so handy. We're well within visual range now. We're, you know, kind of four miles or so. Oh, that destroyer's been hit. 
Look, his, his uh, antenna mast has gone. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. Roger. Oh, now that's interesting. Yamato's turning around. I wonder if he's trying to bear his guns, his rear guns. That would be interesting. Oh, Tico's gone. And Destroyer's gone. They just had a flurry. Destroyer's gone from here. Tico's gone from here. All that's left is this guy. And this guy appears to be bearing his guns. No, that's Bismarck. Who is it? This guy's sailing in front of his sister ship. Yes! He manoeuvred to uh, fire his guns, look. Oh, and look, a bullet just hit and ripped it to pieces. That's a Tycho. Maneuvering back in, but he's got to be careful not to hit. Okay, he's moving me out of the way, that's good. Merchant ship on fire. Merchant ship. Uh, no, that is a that's a sinking Tycho. Oh, and that Tycho there is getting absolutely blasted. Like it's going down. Andy Wind going down. Oh, that Tycho's on fire, look. Oh, she's going down too. Wow, it just shows when they're getting close and those aft guns can come into play. Things only last a matter of seconds. I think she's going down anyway. Oh, yeah, she's going down, look. Wow, look at that bit of graphics. Amazing. She's going down. Captain's going down with the ship, boys. Been running for two and a half hours now, plus intro time. Probably the biggest fight we've done. He's down. Is there anything left? Nope. One handy wind, which is going to last approximately three seconds. Okay, valued viewers. So, uh, uh, that was it. We did not get the result we expected. I don't think anyone expected that. Let me think what happened. We sent the Air Force of 30 Hornets out. Four of my screwed up. The other ones... Uh, wouldn't launch harpoons. I couldn't get them to launch harpoons. I just wouldn't launch them. Um, and then we equipped them with bombs. And they would launch the bombs. But as soon as they got close to this particular fleet for some reason. They just turned around and went home and landed. All of them. All 26. Why? Well, no idea. Uh, and RC had sacrificed himself. We got a couple of bombs on target. If the Air Force had stuck with it. The Air Force would almost certainly would have wiped that, that fleet out. Would have lost a few hornets. Because you saw the thickness of the fire. Uh, coming out from these ships. But... It didn't work, so there's not much I can do about it. Um, then the harpoons came, and the harpoons got... About 10% got shot down. About 90% got through. And they did do damage. They sunk three ships and damaged three ships to begin with. Possibly even more than that. Um, but there just wasn't enough high explosive there. Uh, to, you know, to, to sink these guys. Simple as that. Then it got to guns. And the Americans held their own. They put lots of shells on faces... But simply not enough to destroy a incredibly highly armoured ship with incredibly big shells. It got to the point where, because of the inaccuracy and whatever, the Germans, or I say Germans, the Axis, ran out of forward-facing rounds, pretty much. Got a few, you know, six inches left and stuff like that, but more or less ran out of ordnance. But uh, they had a second go at the end when some of them turned broadside and started using their rear turrets, which obviously have separate magazines, you know, basically a whole new battleship's worth of ammo firing. And that was the end of it. Uh, that's probably the big, biggest one we ever do. Um, incredibly interesting to see one fleet completely wipe out another. I don't think we've ever, have ever had it that kind of clear cut before, which is interesting.
there you go and this guy's done and he's sinking i'm gonna leave it there guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you later